Today, we're comparing NVIDIA Driver 566.36 against the newer 591.44 to see which one delivers better performance inside Counter-Strike 2. I tested both drivers on the exact same hardware using the exact same scenario, and the game was running on low settings since that's what most competitive players use for the highest FPS and lowest input lag. This comparison is based entirely on real CapFrameX data, so we can see what actually changes between the two drivers in CS2. So before we start this video, please consider subscribing and dropping a like, because making videos like this takes a lot of time, effort, and multiple PC and game restarts to get accurate results. So let's start it. Before showing the results, here are the specs I used for testing. Everything stays identical between runs, except for the driver version. This ensures the numbers you're about to see are accurate and directly comparable. In CS2, low settings push the GPU less and rely more on CPU stability, frame times, and driver optimization, making this kind of test extremely useful for competitive players who want the smoothest possible experience. Let's start with the stronger performer, NVIDIA Driver 566.36. In this run, the game achieved an average FPS of 244.3, with a 1% low of 122.1 and a 0.1% low of 51.4 FPS. The frame time graph is very consistent, and overall smoothness is measured at 99.5%, with only 0.11 seconds of stutter recorded. Even though there are occasional spikes, the overall frame pacing stays tight, and the gameplay feels responsive, stable, and clean during fast peaks or heavy combat moments. This driver clearly handles CS2 well, especially in raw frame rate output. Now, let's look at NVIDIA Driver 591.44. Compared to the previous one, this driver delivers noticeably lower frame rates. The average FPS drops to 172.9, with the 1% low falling to 93.7 FPS and the 0.1% low dropping further to 48.6 FPS. Smoothness still remains high at 99.8%, and stuttering is technically lower at only 0.04 seconds, but the overall gameplay feels heavier because the frame rate itself is significantly lower. Even though frame times don't look terrible, the reduced FPS impacts aiming clarity, motion smoothness, and input responsiveness, especially during quick flicks or fast rotations. Comparing both drivers side by side, it's easy to see the difference. Driver 566.36 delivers much higher averages and noticeably better 1% lows, which means frames remain more stable during intense gameplay. Driver 591.44, despite having slightly cleaner stutter numbers, simply outputs fewer frames overall, which directly affects how smooth CS2 feels. In a competitive shooter where every millisecond matters, that frame rate drop is hard to ignore. So here are my final thoughts. NVIDIA Driver 566.36 is the better choice for CS2, offering higher FPS, stronger lows, and a more responsive experience overall. Driver 591.44 isn't terrible, but its reduced frame rate makes it less ideal for competitive players who want maximum performance. If you're playing CS2 and want the smoothest gameplay, stick with 566.36 for now. So guys, for watching this video, if this video helped you, so please consider subscribing and drop a like on this video. <laughs> I will see you in the next one.